A Morganton woman arrested earlier this week here in Burke County is charged with multiple felonies on an out of county warrant. Those charges include exploitation. The suspect was not listed as an inmate here in Burke County as of the time I'm filing this report. 32 year old Shanika Thomas of Clark Loop in Morganton was arrested Tuesday by Morganton Public Safety. She was arrested on an out of county warrant from McDowell County. She's charged with felony counts of exploitation of a disabled or elderly person and obtaining property by false pretense. Thomas was arrested on those felony charges shortly before 2 a.m. Tuesday at an address on Berkmont Avenue in Morganton. As of the time I'm filing this report, she was not listed as an inmate in Burke County. 36 year old Jessica Ann Mitchell and 28 year old Sierra Devon Westbrook, both of Marion, were arrested Friday by Morganton Public Safety. Both suspects were charged with felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance. Westbrook is also charged with three counts of failure to appear for failure to comply. Both suspects were arrested last Friday morning at an address on Berkmont Avenue in Morganton. A public safety officer was responding to assist other officers with a welfare check and found the two suspects in a vehicle. They are both scheduled to appear in district court on August 19th. The next suspect is a Burke County resident who was arrested earlier this week on drug charges. 35 year old William Alexander Conley of Branch Street in Morganton was arrested Monday by Morganton Public Safety. He's charged with felony counts of possession of Schedule II controlled substance, possession of cocaine, and possession with intent to manufacture, sell, and deliver Schedule II controlled substance, along with a misdemeanor count of resisting an officer. Conley was arrested at approximately 11 p.m. Monday and was placed in the Burke County Jail where bond was set at $75,000 secured. As of the time I'm filing this report, he is not listed as an inmate here in Burke County. A district court date was scheduled on Tuesday. Reporting for WHKY News, this is Rob Eastwood.